now, live from an abandoned kitchen at Fox Sports Studios, it's The Bailey with Sam Mack and Jules. Hello, welcome to episode 21 of the B-League and we're going to kick it off, Jules, with a brand new feature. It's the injury update. That's right, the serious side of playing, Sam. Uh, let's go and check out Connor Payne's injury last night. Ooh, that's a really bad challenge, yellow card. Also a nasty bump for Cressinger there. We hope he gets better soon. Uh, let's go to Amy Park as well. Uh, this is a particularly galling injury. Two security guards inexplicably racing in front of zero people and bang, there goes the hamstring, Sam. That is Spiro, the security guard, and I believe he's going to be out of action for at least three or four weeks. He had quite a few games lined up. He was meant to be doing some nightclub bouncer work at Revolver Nightclub. He's out of action for that. So we send our thoughts to Spiro and his family. You'd think his colleagues would be distraught, but look, <laughs> no, they're watching the themselves. Fox Sports Vision, they are loving it. They're almost ruffling. They're almost literally rolling on the floor with laughter. But Spiro, please, get well soon. The game needs you, buddy. When people talk about the B-League, uh, Sam, they realise that we really tackle the big issues uh, in sport. So it's time for another B-League special investigation. They run, jump, wave, spin, flip, dance and do whatever it takes to excite the crowds. But our investigations have revealed a sinister, dark side to the culture of A-League mascots. In what's tipped to be the biggest scandal to hit Australian sports since, insert this week's scandal, this B-League report is about to unmask the perpetrators. Meet Ticker of the Melbourne Heart. His idea of fun is making small children cry. But why does he do it? The kid needs to harden up. All I did was tell him that I'd seen John Aloisi wearing a V-neck knit instead of a three-piece suit. And what about the Mariners? If you thought Arnie was the grumpiest person at the club, you're wrong. Marvin is currently facing charges of violence, theft, and it gets worse. Look at this senseless destruction of Blue Tongue Stadium. I'm just doing what I can to get noticed. I mean, do you know how hard it is competing for attention with those sauce bottles? I don't see Laura Pitt doing a story on me. But those guys don't even come close to the behaviour of the Glory Gorilla, who's currently under investigation for a growing list of serious misdemeanours. Kidnapping a child. Performing viral dance moves that are so 12 months ago. Mounting members of the shed. Epic photo bombing. Even assaulting a chicken treat mascot. Things are so out of hand, we visited an expert to get some answers. There is limited research when it comes to the Purple Gorilla because there's only been one known specimen. Uh, what we do know though is that their behaviour is extremely erratic. For most of you conventional gorillas, uh, they've been known to do bad stuff into their hand, their own waist quite often, and then throw it. Uh, the purple gorilla is different, he doesn't believe in that, he believes in, in, in using water to simulate another form of bad behaviour. Several investigations are underway and it's believed some mascots could face bans of up to two years. It's hard to find any positives in this harrowing story, but Dr Chris Brown has managed to find just one. It's beautiful teeth. Beautiful teeth. So do you, Chris. So do you. We do need to stamp this out of the A-League, though, so we're asking you guys to be our eyes and ears. If you see any suspicious mascot behaviour, or you've seen some already, please report it immediately to our Twitter account, at the B-League. In fact, weren't you touched inappropriately by Big Red, the Adelaide United mascot? Uh, it was consensual, Sam. Oh, okay. It was definitely consensual. Right. Actually, Sam, I've just heard the Melbourne Heart security guys have seen our B-League special report. Let's have a look. Oh, look, Ruffle, oh, yes. they're loving it. Finally, we're spreading some joy. Now, the most important thing for any coach in the A-League is, of course, umbrella handling. That's why we've decided to reward the great umbrella handlers of the league, Jules. That's right, with the Mary Poppins Award. Let's have a look at the nominees for this month. Uh, we'll kick it off with Graham Arnold. We call this the Javelin. The next contender is Tony Popovich with the Popper Fist. Good coordination there, Sam. Then we go the pirouette. Oh. Look at the grace and majesty of Arnold Just there. Just beautiful. Aloisi with the 4-3-2. Not one of those fingers got wet. Uh, well done. Uh, and also, Graham Arnold again with the blowout. The umbrella's not working. Uh, he's getting frustrated lifting up the suit and it's subbed out and another subbed in, Sam. That was a major flat fail, wasn't it, Jules? <laughs> well, they are the contenders, but it's time now to check out who our winners are. Oh, the Mary Poppins Award, three, two and one votes, all going to Graham Arnold. Now, Sam, we have a lot of technology available to us here at the B-League and we've got this machine, which we like to call lip-reading technology. Yeah, it's the LRT. Now, what it means is when you see footage from a game, sometimes it's hard to know what are those fans saying in the background. This machine here makes it possible. So let's have a look at some vision right now. 
Uh, there we go. It's the Zatkovich corner. The guy in the white hat, you really know, want to know what he's saying, Sam. He's having quite a bit to say. So let's apply the LRT machine. Have a listen. Excuse me, Ruben. I am curious to know your thoughts on whether Taylor Swift will ever find Mr. Wright. I would never let Harry from One Direction go if I was her. See, we would what? have never known that that's what he was saying without this bad boy. He's oh, just a huge wow. Taylor Swift fan. That's all it was. Hey, Sam, I've just heard the Melbourne Heart security guys have seen the LRT bit. Let's see that. Oh, look, they oh, are loving God. it. Again. I can't believe we've got some actual fans finally. Sadly, that is it from us. So as we always say, good night, B-leaguers. And good night, Jamie Rogers.